to your Astro Dice reading for September. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Welcome, welcome everyone. Okay, let's see what's going on with you. Best message coming out. Hope you guys survived that uh, Mercury retrograde. Um, we do have the new moon in Virgo. Um, those readings are already up. So if you haven't caught those, go ahead and they're in the playlist, okay? So let's see what's going on. We do have a solar, or excuse me, a lunar eclipse, excuse me, coming up. If the full moon will be a lunar eclipse, partial lunar eclipse. So I'll also be getting that reading up for you guys as well. Okay, um, that'll be towards the end of the month. Let's see what's going on. Not as big energies this month as last month, but knowing that we do have that partial lunar eclipse is going to emphasize uh, a lot of energy coming out. It's going to amplify getting those manifestations out. So definitely want to start planting those seeds at this uh, new moon so that way you can start really harvesting since it is a harvest moon for the full moon. Right. So really wanting to do so. Uh, let's see what's going on. Best message coming out. Uh, you do have North Node coming out with some Gemini energy straight into the third house, learning about what it is, what karmic path are you going on, what is this destined thing that you are learning about this month, love it. So using the Vesta over here, the goddess within your sacred spiritual center and quiet dignity has everything to do with the soul center. Um, of course, Vesta is about the sun, not the moon, but it's it's good because it'll still talk. It's still talking about that karma. It's still talking about that soul's destiny um, in that Gemini area. I talked about the energy is communicative, mischievous, lively, witty, and informative. Stimulating exchange is possible. So really getting a lot of communication out there. But I like that because it's going straight into the third house. The third house is about your potential to learn something in your local neighborhood. So whatever you're learning about is definitely going to be through this communication. Okay about what it is you truly need to learn about. And it's going to have something to do with that North Node, that destiny, that remembering the past, right? This is, North Node is speaking of karmic gain and soul growth, right? Experiences that are in line with your soul's destiny and from which you can gain advancement in your spiritual development and your karmic path. So what is it that you are definitely learning that you need to know about at this time for this growth and this karmic path. Love it. So let's get in here and see what's going on with you. Of course, you have 11 other houses to deal with, but this is the one that Spirit really wants to talk about. Just saying, hey, this is very important, right? Okay. Very important. Getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. Whoa, that's really wanting to come out. Ascended Masters is saying definitely being pushed by your ancestors, being pushed by the divine over here when it comes right underneath the soul. This is a spirit card, so that's pretty cool. Um, and it's definitely saying you are being pushed. You are divinely watched and being pushed into this direction um, and what it is you truly need to be in. Um, okay, so I love that. And here it is again, another, gosh, another spirit card, family, friends, and guides. There it is, being pushed and watched and divinely pushed into this path of where you need to, to go. What are you learning? To let go. They're telling you, hey, I want you to let this go. I want you to let this go because it's no longer serving you. You're holding on to something that is not a part of your destined path. I need you to really dig deep, learn what it is that you need to let go of. So way you can introduce and really push towards what it is you truly need for your achievements in this life uh, when it comes to this situation. Wow. We'll see what that situation is for the majority of you. So let's clarify over here. What is it they're talking about? And it's almost like it's crazy because it says your family and your friends and your guides is under Gemini. So it might be a family member who is a Gemini. You know, it could be your mom who's trying to push you. Maybe let's say mom was a Gemini and she's passed over 
and she's really trying to communicate with you because it's under communication is your guides, your higher self, your friends, your family who have ascended, who have transcended, who have passed over. So really watch those dreams. Really watch those angel numbers. I'm going to do angel numbers this month. So um, numerology, angel numbers, stuff of that nature. But uh, really watch for those, those signs, right? Those butterflies or mom loved, you know, uh, hummingbirds. And I keep seeing a hummingbird or you know what I'm saying? Things that are getting your attention because you're saying your ancestors are communicating with you. And the divine is really pushing that out there. And they're really wanting you to detach, let go from this circumstance. For some of you, I'm really getting in my mind, it's a person. It's, it's really a person. They really don't want you with this person anymore because they're causing nothing but pain and agony. And there's something so much more for you. Okay. And I mean, if it's not a person for others, it could be a dead end job that, you know, it's getting you nowhere, but frustrated. But for the, the biggest thing I'm really getting out of this is a person. There is definitely you're holding on to something that is to someone that is just dragging you down. That is just not suited for you. And you're really holding that. But it also could be pain. Man, feeling these three things. For someone, it's the pain of them. Like you haven't moved on. From their their death you're still grieving it's been months and it's like grandma's saying it's time to let go it's time to let go it's okay it's, everything's gonna be okay I need you to let go so that way you can free yourself to get to where you truly need to be it's okay I'm okay Clarifying on this situation, the world, personal celebration. This is really crazy because I was talking just now about this grand, and I feel like it's someone's grandma. Somebody's really holding on to grandma's death or a mother figure. Um, and I mean, it could be, you know, you guys, a lot of you probably holding on to somebody. Right, doesn't have to just be that one, but we're going to bring up this situation for just a second because it's really coming in strong. Um, they really want you to let go and just keep moving strong. Understand that they are with you and that they are fine. And they're watching over you, pushing you towards your goal and your achievement. If anything, this isn't a time to continue grieving. It's time for healing. It's time to move forward. You have so much that needs to be done while you're here. Um, and the reason I'm seeing this is because it's saying that they're fine. They're fine. They're doing great. Okay. On the other side, they're in a world that is everything that you could imagine. Peace, love. Okay. But you have a completion and an accomplishment on this world. And you need to celebrate life. And it's almost like they're saying, I want you to let go so that you can celebrate that life. You know, keeping yourself in this overall grieving is okay. I'm okay. Okay. It's okay. They're having inner harmony. Okay. There's no more conflict for them. They're fine where they are. They have the communication that they need. The problem that they're having is that you know, as they transcend, it's almost like whoever I'm picking up, you feel like you're left alone and you're worried about where they are, but they're letting you know everything is okay. You now need to pick up the pieces and go big and they're watching you. Okay. Watching you. No matter what the situation, what you're learning is that there is a whole, a wholeness and an accomplishment and a fill and a fulfillment that you need to attain. And by holding on to someone who has lack of 
communication, who doesn't have the value for you, your ancestors and your spirit guides and, and your friends who have passed want you to understand, the divine wants you to understand that you have so much more and it has nothing to do with this, this love. Let go of this person who is not good for you so that they can bring in real, true love for you. You're in a place where you're with someone who they just... There's a sadness, but yet there's so much happiness. They're in a happiness, but yet they feel like you're in a place. It's like they feel your pain. And they, they want you to move on to the next chapter. It's time for you to let go of things that no longer serve you so that you can move on to your next chapter. Dance with the universe. Okay. And it's like they're trying to connect. I see a lot of 444. If you guys are seeing 444, there's a lot of 444. 444 means angels are talking to you. Literally, that's exactly what it means. Okay. But they definitely are saying that what they want you to learn is that there's so much more. There's so much more they want. They're aiming and pushing you towards this victory, towards this healing, towards this victory, towards this place. But they're having a hard time because it's like you're holding on so tight. Right? Maybe you're trying to make it work or you're holding on to the grief too tight. Um, and it's time. It's time to heal. It's time to let go because they're saying, I'm not really gone. I'm right here with you. If anything, I'm pushing you to your overall achievements. You have so much more. Waiting for you. Okay, so. Pick that how it resonates for you. There's so much rewards, good fortune for you. Going to the mid-month. Getting yourself out of conscious lack. Understanding that you have so much more. Don't see yourself as in conscious lack. Because if we always see ourselves in lack, then we're never going to have. So it's almost like they're saying, I want you, your spirit wants you to understand you have so much more. Don't always think of yourself as lacking. Get your conscious right. Get out of that space. Have that transformation. Wow, you're going to go through a huge transformation. They're pushing you towards this transformation. This is the mid-month, so yeah, there's a lot of hidden motivations that you are just going to start being very aware of. And this is what the third house is teaching. Is you're going to learn of these hidden motivations. You're going to start seeing with your mind's eye. You're going to be very clear. All Anything that felt hidden, it's like the veil is going to open in your mind's eye. You're going to become very, very clear of this transformation. You're going to be very, very clear that, you know what, I don't lack that much. Okay, so maybe I don't have what maybe I want, 100, but I'm, you know, but there's going to be this, this place of feeling this kind of overall gratefulness towards, but you know, I have a roof over my head. I have clothes on my back. I might, you know, I have a job. Maybe it's not the greatest job, but you know what? That's what they're saying, right? In some ways, for some of you, if you don't like the job that you're in and you do feel like a robot and you do feel dissatisfied, you could tell yourself, you know what? I can always go find another job. And once I find another job, I'll just hold on to this job, give in my two weeks notice and go find something more beautiful. Right? Without just feeling like, you know, I'm strung along in this job and I hate my job and there's nothing else in the world. And you see what I'm saying? Same with love. Right? I can't leave this person because then I'll never find love again. Who says who? Did they tell you that? Because that's not true. Right? Or I can't live without grandma. Grandma saying you can. You can and you will. And I'm right here next to you. Everything's going to be fine. I need you to 
do your soul's mission. I need you to continue to go strong, be self-confident, feel the rewards. There's so much more. Yeah, the conscious lack, it's like feeling like you're worn down. And all of that overwhelmingness, all of that feeling worn down, all of it feels like it's been destroyed. All of it feels like nothing was working is all going to transform into something beautiful. It's going to transform into the two of cups to the king of cups. Oh, so for a lot of you, it's transforming into this connection, this beautiful connection, this beautiful communication that you're going to have, not only with your ancestors, but also with someone else who could definitely be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Could be a beautiful nether water sign that you're going to. But this is a person who understands, someone who is on your own mutual attraction, someone that you're connecting with. You're going to run into this person who is very connectable to your energy. You're just going to feel like, wow, where did they come from? Well, they came from your ancestors pushing you, the divine pushing you. It's a divine connection. It's a faded connection. It's a soul contract. It is meant to be there for whatever the purpose is. You know, for some of you, it is a beautiful Pisces. Um, okay, but your hidden, the hidden motivations for you is this beautiful person who is going to be very supportive towards you. They are being divided. They're definitely being divinely guided towards you, whether it's for work purposes, love purposes, connection through friends, someone to help you, someone to help you open your heart and receive the love from them. Someone who could be the bestest friend ever. Someone who is actually emotionally balanced and they're ready and willing to be by your side. Who wants to listen, who wants to support. Wow, there's a lot of support. You got two cards of support on each other. If it's a new job that you're looking for, this going to put this person right into your life. Could also be a Capricorn who's going to be very supportive, a person who can provide financially, a person who may have a job that's an opening that you're going to connect to perfectly because it's divinely set up. It's reliable. This is what you want. If it's a love connection, this is the nurturing, reliable person. They may already have children or they really want to have children. Okay. However it is, this is what is being pushed towards you. This is what you're going to learn. You're going to learn where did this person come from? How did I connect to this person? If you know, you know, I don't really had anybody but grandma or whoever's passed over, whoever, you know, you'll find that person to be able to talk to that you can grieve with someone who has that nurturing ability to listen, to guide you, whether it's a healer, whether it's a therapist, whether it's a counselor, a best friend, a love, a coworker, someone is coming into your life, not to feel grandma's shoes, but to feel that connection. To the bottom of the deck, we do have commitment. Okay. So it's definitely a contract. This is contract. Um, I did have... Was that what Virgo was? I think Virgo... Oh, Leo, Leo, and that's crazy, you have Leo here. Leo had a love like no other with a soul contract, so you guys could be dealing with a Leo as well. You guys can watch that that uh, reading as well. Um, they had the soul contract as well. A couple of signs did. Uh, I think uh, Taurus also had a faded meeting as well, so, you know, and that's Earth here, so... I had a few, a few good ones over faded meeting. I don't know. If, let me look at my book here. I'm not sure. If, oh, no. Virgo did too. Virgo, Taurus, and Leo. So far, those are the ones that I see. So it could be dealing with those three signs. And then, of course, we have the Pisces here. But I haven't done the Pisces reading yet, so I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that for sure. I didn't do that reading yet. Okay. Well, if it if it's a 
anticipated meaning more than likely it'll say something like that, right? Uh, Taurus is, it was pre-written in the stars, and it has a lot to do with love or something like that. Okay, guys, let's see. Your intuition is on target at the end of the month. You got that, you got that uh, lunar eclipse coming in. That's going to really target you. It is a lunar eclipse in Pisces. And maybe that's what the Pisces is, too. Maybe that's when it really starts coming through. Maybe that, you know, that Piscean energy that we, we're seeing is you picking up those emotions, you becoming intuitive towards that time of that lunar eclipse. Which would be right at the end of the mid-month, actually. Because I think it's like the 24th, 25th. Don't hold me to that because I haven't 100% looked at it just yet. I think I do have it written down, though. Somewhere. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Did I write it down? Oh, 17 through the 18th. So it's definitely mid-month. Okay. So that definitely could be that, that energy coming through. Saying you're going to feel more emotionally balanced due to Piscean energy of that uh, lunar um that lunar eclipse. So that's also a huge possibility as well. Okay, so we have the uh, intuition and manifestation coming in. Your intuition is going to keep the peace. Wow. And then playing it safe. So it does look like all of a sudden you're going to kind of go down into your shell a little bit. Doesn't look like you're going to really want to go out and really feel, you know, I'm just going to be cool, right? Kind of like everybody else is back here having some kind of festival and you're kind of like, I'm cool. I don't, you know, I'm in peace with myself right now. So really finding the peace. And what we really, like I said, see it right here with the King of Cups right here. So it's really following through here where it's just kind of like I'm manifesting. I'm My intuition is very open. You know, I'm very at peace within yourself at this time and really just kind of chilling with yourself or, you know, maybe even having only maybe just a friend. Right, but not large crowds or anything like that. Just kind of, you know, hold in. Um, like I said, kind of shelled. Um, putting yourself in that safe zone, your shell. Not feeling like I need to be out in the world um, where it's loud, right? A lot of you are empathic too, so you're going to have a little bit of that, you know, that to myself. Um, water signs or it's the waterway. <laughs> the waterway. <laughs> um, let's see. I have no water in my chart. I just want you to know that. I'm all pretty much, I'm pretty much all fire and earth. Um, I do have the Libra moon, uh, but I don't have a lot of air in my chart either. Okay, so. Let me see, my friend. Yeah, it's all about just conserving your energy. Self-improvement, taking the control. Really, you know, it's like because you're in the north node, you know, so it's kind of like now your intuition's like kind of saying, you know, I, I see it. You know, I'm because you with the hidden motivations when that gets pulled back and you really start with that third house learning this situation, it's really gonna put you into that place of like, I get it. I'm gonna conserve that energy now because I get it. I'm I'm like understanding. I'm understanding, you know, how to improve myself, how to get to my rewards, how to, you know, having that gratitude and that stability, right? And really feeling that emotional stability again. So really with that piece, it's like I, I feel the nine of cups. I really feel the reward within myself and I'm feeling better, right? Because up here there was a lot of letting go. There was a lot of anxieties going on in the beginning of the month. And it's kind of like the divine and your, your ancestors just kind of pushed you to this place of understanding, feeling that understanding, having that connection, feeling like you have these healthier connections around you, which really is just going to put your, your soul and mind at peace. So, and then playing it safe is just, really it's also about conserving your energy, right? As you shell, as you shell yourself, right? Really conserving yourself from allowing anyone to, you know, um, pull on that energy 
that you're trying to conserve, right? And all that health, having those healthier ways. There's going to be the playing a safe. We'll probably, you will, you'll have some memories. It's going to bring up some reminiscing. It's going to bring up some, you know, daydreams, childhood nostalgia, nostalgia from, you know, the past. Really bringing up those past things. But this is definitely about, you know, you really, you know, uh, presenting yourself with the understanding and having a lot of generous, um, generosity and fairness. And, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things too, if this is a new love or, new, you know, whatever this, if this is a closer type of, uh, companionship, I guess is a good word to say without making it have to be love because it could be just a new friend. Um, I do feel when you're playing it safe, you see what I mean? Within that time, there will be a lot of sharing and reminiscing with this person as you're getting to know this person. That's why I said the playing it safe doesn't mean it only has to be you alone. It could be you playing it safe with this new, um, what it looks like to me, Pisces or a Capricorn. It could be a water sign, it could be a Scorpio, however it is, Taurus, Leo, whatever, whoever, whatever. Um, but you know, it, but no matter what, there's not this big party situation. It's definitely very intimate. Okay. Um, or it's definitely you alone, depending on the person. Okay. And where you're sharing. And the reason is, is because we have the sharing, which is keeping the balance together, sharing those stories, reminiscing, sharing those, those stories of the past. That's how we understand each other, right? That's how we get to know each other. So I do feel like that that's another thing that's going on. It's a, a huge possibility. Yeah. And then of course there's a lot of excitement and a lot of freedom um, coming from this. And it's freeing yourself from that letting that that go, letting that anxieties go, feeling like you know what, I'm in a new place of discovery. I'm in this new place and of understanding and with that third house being there with the page of, of wands is just really about being excited for life, feeling like there is more, you know, like the divine did a good job pushing me and transforming me onto this place um, where you're going to feel more inspired ideas um, and feeling that there's more potentials. So very beautiful reading guys. And you do have the ace of cups for the overall which is really that self-love, that compassion, creativity, feeling like you're on the right path and feeling like, you know what, my, my soul is exactly where it's supposed to be. Definitely, because I'm feeling that teamwork. I'm feeling, you know, this new push and where I'm, there is rewards. And I love the Three of Pentacles because the Three of Pentacles really, you know, it's the powerful three within your mind, body, and soul. But in this one, it actually feels also like it's the divine, that grandparent, that, that family member, whoever that, you know, person is, plus you, plus this newfound two of cups, right? This newfound person, this newfound, um, yeah, companion that it just feels like, you know, this is where my, this is where I'm supposed to be. It's almost get to the point where it's like, if you were really in a really shitty relationship, it was a good thing you let go because they brought that in so fast. It was like, you know, it was almost like grandma saying, you know what? I need you to let that go. And like now, because I got someone coming in towards the mid month. That you need to be hooking with. Okay. You need to hook up with this person <laughs> immediately because it's already, it's already done. And I don't want you to miss it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is just a beautiful reading. You're really learning to set your goals right now. That's another thing you're really learning over here is how to set those goals for those achievements with the Seven of Pentacles. Then, you know, I planted these seeds and now I'm, I'm really learning on, you know, where I was, you know, that I'm supposed to be, right? So you might even just have this overwhelming feeling of, you know, being nudged and being pushed in that direction without any understanding of why I feel like this, right? And that's because you're divine, whether it's your, your ancestors, your higher self, you know, the angels, God, universe, whatever. Okay. 
is really nudging you that way because that really is where your north node is putting you, what you really need to be doing right now. This over here is an energy that's done and over with. That chapter's over. It's time for a whole new, it's a whole new chapter waiting for you guys. Okay. It's a whole new chapter just sitting there waiting. Okay. Waiting for you to get started. Beautiful reading, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.